Hello, I'm Pat Roberts. I'm a Macmillan Lymphedema Clinical Nurse Specialist. Hello, I'm Karen Morgan and I'm a Lymphedema Specialist Nurse. And we're going to demonstrate toe bandaging and multi-layer lymphedema bandaging. And Hazel has kindly agreed to be our volunteer for this today. You must always wash and moisturise limbs, whether arms or legs, prior to bandaging. And Hazel has already done this. Because if the patient is able, they can do it themselves. If not, they may need help from carers or family members. So we must now first line the leg with ComfyFast. It's also known as TubiFast or ActiFast, which is a cotton liner from toe to knee. This comes in different sizes, but a yellow line is commonly used in the lower limbs. And then to commence toe bandaging, we need either a 4 cm or a 6 cm, which is turned double elastic conforming bandage. But today we will use the 4 cm. And we anchor this bandage twice around the foot. Sometimes it could only be done once. And we start with covering the big toe. Covering to the base of the nail, hiding all the skin. So you might have to do this a couple of times around this toe so that we don't see the skin. And then we go to the next toe and so on. Ensuring again that we hide all that skin. You apply this bandage firmly to each toe with no tension around the foot when anchoring. And we bandage all toes except the fifth toe as this has its own drainage route. And this drains due to the anatomical position being compressed against the other toes. We also do not cut the bandage, so we use it all up and then secure with a piece of micropore or duropore. Check in all toes and under the foot. Is that comfortable? So that's the toe bandage complete. We bring the liner then down to cover the foot. And we are ready now for the padding. This comes in different sizes, as shown. And we'll start with the smaller one now on the foot. So we're next applying the wool padding, which is also called Salona or Soft Band, Soft Tex or Flexi Band. And we're starting at the base of the toes in a spiral direction, ensuring all bony prominence are protected, especially around the malleolus area, as been shown. You can never have enough padding and our motto here is, if in doubt, pad out. So you keep using the wool padding all the way up to the leg and the main aim of the padding is to create a cylindrical conal shape and that all the bony prominences i.e. the malleolus, are well covered.
This wool padding will also help if patient's leg is leaking any fluid. But the main aim is to prepare it ready for the compression bandaging. As you can see, this will take many rolls of wool depending on the shape of the limb. As misshapen limbs require reshaping prior to applying compression. When you feel this has been accomplished, you need to check the wool padding has provided you with a cylindrical shape and all bony prominence are covered and you do this with the heels of both hands as you can see. So that is the wool padding part. We are using the Actico bandage today and they come in different sizes as well. So ensuring the patient is flexing their foot straight up to the ceiling with a 6 by 6 centimetre size bandage apply to the foot starting at the base of the toes holding the actico at tension and apply two turns from the base of the toe pulling the bandage on the second turn and apply in a figure of eight style enclosing the ankle and heel. The figure of eight sometimes does not cover the heel completely but don't worry this will be covered with a second bandage of Actico. Applying this figure of eight to the foot prevents slippage of the bandage and is tolerated better by the patient. Now get your 10 by 6 centimetres actico and apply again starting at the base of the toes in a spiral direction with a 50% overlap making sure the foot is still facing up to the ceiling. And apply this bandage then all the way up at a 50% overlap. Apply now the second layer of Actico in the opposite direction, again with an 80% stretch and a 50% overlap. So secure with two turns over the ankle and spiral as before to the knee. We finish the Actico two fingers below the knee joint, cutting off any excess bandage and tape it if necessary. Then we bond the layers together by applying gentle pressure along the length of the limb. Also ensure the two finger check of making sure the bandage is not too tight.
Encourage mobilisation. And if patient is unable to mobilise, instruct patient on ankle movements and foot exercises. And this is your bandage complete.